Hello everyone, my name is Marcus and welcome to another tutorial. So today we're going to be designing this poster, it's highly inspired by the rave scene. I went to this rave store in Camden the other day with my brother and I was just like so inspired by all the colors, all the vibe, all the happy feeling it passes to me that I was like I need to make a tutorial about a poster of a rave like kind of vibe. So let's just, let's just start. I'm going to just drag this to the side here so I can actually still have it as a reference. And yeah, I have a, let's just make a new document really quick. Here you can see my resolution, press create. And I'm going to start writing my copy. I'm going to write mast.lab, which is my Instagram tag. So if you are in an Instagram, and let's connect there. I'm just going to choose a nice font. I'm going to use monument font like this. Perfect. I'm going to scale this a little bit down. I'm going to make a new copy here using Alt coin just to rotate this on the side like this. Make a new copy here, rotate it. The same thing here and then rotate it. Perfect. So the side ones actually are going to make them a little bit bigger. Just like something like this. Actually going to delete this one and do the same thing here. So we get the, um, the same scale there. And then I'm going to just to make it like this. Try to align them as the best you can, of course. I'm just going to make it yeah, perfectly aligned. And then I just aligned it on the center as well. Let's just select this. And let's go to Object and Expand. Just like this. Perfect. So this way it's actually easier to to align the fonts now. Okay, this we know is aligned. Let's just group this and let's just align this one here as well. Perfect. Uh, next, let's just apply some colors. Actually, I just going to steal. I think I use this the swatches from here. Uh, I was going to steal the colors from my other poster, but I think I can make it from here. So I'm going to apply uh, a really nice pink on uh, this color and then apply red. Okay, cool. And I'm going to select this, going to edit, copy and edit, paste in place. I'm going to press E to scale it disproportionately, holding shift and alt at the same time. And I'm going to make a copy again of this one just for safety. Let's just drag a copy there on the side. And I think this is not grouped. Let's just group this ones as well. Group this one and then align them. Perfectly aligned as well. This is aligned. Yeah. Perfect. So let's just change the color of this one to like a nice green. And let's select this too. Let's go to object, blend and make. Now we want to do is actually change, edit this blend to make a little bit more steps here. Just select this. Let's just go to the sidebar here. Click twice and specified steps and let's just increase this steps to a high number until we stop seeing like uh, these little gaps in between. Well, until you actually your computer crashes, like mine normally crashes if I go really high, high up. Perfect. So now I'm going to do is actually select click twice so I can go inside of the blend and just make a copy of this, this here. And then I'm just going to paste it in a, with the command F to paste in place. And then I'm going to apply like a, a yellowish uh, color. On this one, actually, i also go to maybe experiment with the stroke. Let's just see. Yes. Yeah. So we give it like a little bit more definition. And let's go to our layers here, create a new layer and just go to uh, get a new rectangle here. On this layer to make like a nice background for it something like this perfect and just perfect it's already looking looking really nice i really like it very much actually uh i feel like maybe the pink i used before was a little bit more brighter i think i'm gonna maybe change or maybe it was there was a stroke here let me see if this was like yeah, I think it was something even more brighter than this, actually. Maybe I 
actually should just try myself like up here. Yeah. Something more interesting like this. And, and yeah, this is pretty much like the type part of the poster. Next, we're going to do is like do that really nice rave smile. I'm going to use the ellipse tool here. Just make a perfect circle. And just apply a nice yellow as well. Maybe the same yellow as is applied there. So it matches a little bit better. Yeah, something like this. And let's just zoom in to make the eyes. I'm going to use the ellipse tool again. Draw like a nice eye. Going to remove, going to switch the strokes and remove the stroke now. Make a copy here. Make them a little bit together. Going to remove this stroke of the face as well. I'm going to do something like this. Going to use again the ellipse tool. Make it like another ellipse. Delete this point here using the direct direct selection tool. Just make it a really nice smile. And normally they have like this really nice detail as well of on the end of the smile. Let's just delete this and just grab this from. Okay, I think it's not here. Let's just try to find where is that. Let's just. Oh, I think we are designing the the smile in the wrong layer. Let's just put in a in the main layer for now. Perfect. Again, let's just try this one. Make it like. Make it pop a little bit more. And just go make a copy using Alt again to the other side. Perfect. Oh, something moved here. Okay, we definitely need to adjust this. I don't know what moved, but well, something moved some somehow. I'm just going to try to match it the best I can now. And just select this. I think it's in the other layer. So just going to lock this one, select anything that's in the other one and delete it. Perfect. Let's just go back here to this. Let's just select everything like from the text and just group it and then align it in the center again. And cool, this is like pretty much almost it. Now we have like those really nice eyes popping here. Let's just maybe scale this a little bit more. So it matches a little bit more the example I showed you. And definitely increasing the stroke of this mouth. Let's just zoom in really quick. And just make it maybe three stroke. Yeah, perfect. Actually looking really, I think it's looking better than the first one. So I'm going to make another circle, apply a nice green, maybe more neon, neony green of some sorts. Let's just try this one here. And then I'm going to make another copy. I'm going to make it smaller. And I'm going to make it like a nice pink. And I'm going to do the same thing with the blend tool here. And I'm going to actually bring this to the front from the blend. I'm going to put it there. I think I'm going to group this element as well so I can actually move it. Maybe you're going to put in another layer actually here, lock it and just play out the position of this blend here. And just to hold, holding alt again, using alt again, just to make a new copy and dragging it. And then here, just going to change the color. Just like trying to to match the best I can the example. It's really hard when you're actually uh, designing to make exactly the same thing you designed first. I try my best all the time. Sometimes the one I design on the tutorial looks better than the actually the original one. So let's just move this to front. Perfect. Same thing here. Let's just duplicate it, scale it down a little bit more central here is actually orange and yellow. It's not like the nice yellow we have. The same thing again, a new copy, move the blend it's like a, a flower petal of some sort. And I think this one is like a, a dark purple to 
to really this like pink as well. Another yellow one there. Oops, let's just click twice. Scale this one to be a little bit bigger. And then something like this. The same thing here. Duplicate it. Make it made a copy really quick. Sorry, I'm just like trying to, to do I'm the repeating steps I do a little really quick with shortcuts because I don't want to take your time. And yeah, it's pretty much almost there. Now we only thing missing is to making the creepy eyes. So I'm gonna use like ellipse tool again here. Make it a black and then duplicate this, make a copy and paste in place. Get to the edges here and make them art edges. Convert to not bezier. Make them white. And then just scale this. Then just like this too. And then scale them down to make like the eye purple. And just scale it up a little bit. It's really like this uh, game of proportions when you're designing eyes for sure. Yeah. It's pretty much it. Maybe this one needs to be a little bit bigger. Let's go in and group this together now. And with this one as well. Then I'm just going to use the same eye, duplicate it, and then let's drag it around. Something like this. And just do the same thing. Holding, we're using Alt again to make it look really nicely here. Something like this, another one here, and another one right here. Jesus, sometimes it doesn't make the copy, and it's so annoying because I, didn't, I don't see it didn't make the copy, and then I end up needing to make it again. I think I'm going to use like a darker color here. Yes. And yeah, that's just the next one here. And, and yeah, it's pretty much it, I think. And yeah, I don't think it's anything else missing. I'm going to just paste here the signatures. And if you want, it's not really actually necessary for this one, but if you want, you can just make a new solid overlay it like this. Apply a black color and then go to effects and uh, texture. And then it's uh, grain. Yeah, uh, my grain is already. I'll uh, use uh, the stippled one and a texture 25 maybe. Then we can just change it if you think it's too much. But normally I use opacity a lot, so I don't actually need to worry how much it is. And then, like, even just like this looks really cool. Like, even just like this, like, high grain white. And let's just reduce the opacity. Just control it, select it first, of course, and just control the opacity the best way I, we can. And yeah, I think it's, I think I like it better than the first one, for sure. And yeah, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's like, I really like this style. I really, I really think it's really happy and fun. Please, if you do this tutorial and you, post it anywhere, please tag me. I really love to see what you do. And if you enjoyed, uh, please check the other uh, the tutorials as well. And subscribe to this channel, like the video, share it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.